of this online series. My name is Brenda, I'm a movement therapist and in this video titled Different Dimensions, we're going to focus a lot on releasing the diaphragm and the neck and the shoulders as well as the hips to focus on creating a lot more movement and space we can move into when we breathe. We're going to focus a lot on core strength and a lot of releasing into the hips. For the video, you're going to use a foam roller if you will need a foam roller, a reflex ball, if a soft reflex ball. If you don't have a soft reflex ball, a tennis ball will do, and you can put it in a sock or two just to soften it up a little bit, as well as a ring resistance band. If you don't have one of these, one of your normal resistance bands will do, and just turn it into it, make it into a loop. We're going to start off lying on the roller. So you're going to bring the roller lengthways along the mat. And you're going to lie with the roller under the spine. To start with, you're going to need your ball. And you're going to extend, open up the feet quite nice and wide. So it will help stabilize you on the roller. And roll down through the spine. If you need to assist with hands and elbows, you can do so. Make sure you're far enough down the roller that the head is supported on the roller so you're not taking any strain in the neck. Let's start with a nice stretch, yawning in, yawning and lengthening out. And just rock from side to side. And let's bring the elbows next to the roller and bring the feet back onto the mat. Taking your reflex ball, we're going to start just releasing along the jawline. Just releasing that jawline and over to the other side. This is often an area we carry a lot of tension, especially when we sleep at night. So we want to just give it a nice release. And you can move up onto the temporal lobe, just next to the ear. Just settle on that temporal lobe, little circular motion in one direction and then change. And then bring the ball over the forehead. This is quite a sensitive area, not a lot of subcutaneous fat. So just work nice and slowly. And then bring it to the other temple, temporal lobe there. And just massage around and change direction. Then you can bring it down over the cheek and over the, over the jaw, along the jaw. Release the ball, take your thumbs and I want you to find just under your ear, the jaw line. And you're going to come along the chin and the thumbs will meet at the chin. And just right, tuck the thumb right under the, the chin bone, the jawline. And slide the thumbs towards one another at the chin. This will just help with that release. And again, a nice big yawn. Which will help release the tension in the same area, which will often lead to tension in the neck and down into the shoulders. Let's take the reflex ball with the opposite hand, bring the elbow onto the mat next to the roller and take the ball and you're going to massage over the pectoral muscles. So right up under the clavicle as well, pectoral major and minor right there up towards that shoulder you can move in circular direction up and down on the diagonal side to side just really giving that area a nice release good so we're still working on the same side i want you to drop the ear over to the other side of the roller and work up into the neck work along the trapezius Massage that trapezius and right up onto the neck. Mm. 
Let's go over to the other side. So change hands, bring the ball onto the the pectoral muscles. Keep going. I'm changing sides. You can see what I'm doing. And just massage along that area over the pectorals. Remember to palm, place the palm up. When the palm is down, you'll rotate that shoulder. I want you to open it up so that the shoulder is nice and open, allowing for more of a release in the pectoral muscles. Move around little circular motions, back and forth, side to side. Move right up under the clavicle. And when you're ready, look away from the direction the shoulder is going and then massage into the neck and the trapezius. Let's take the reflex ball and right along the chest, over the sternum, up and down, and then little sideways movements just to release that sternum. The whole time your shoulders are hugging the roller and focus on your breathing. When we breathe, we want to focus on breathing through the nose. Those sinuses create something called nitric oxide, which helps transport hemoglobin in the blood. Very good to fight off the, the flu virus. Let's release the ball. Now I want you to take your hands, hopefully directly onto your skin, and I want you to slide the fingers right under the rib cage. From the xiphoid process, just at the bottom of the sternum, the rib cage, tuck the fingers in to the rib cage, and you can walk the fingers or slide the fingers down. You'll find that muscle uh, the rectus abdominis muscle group running along the center. It's a thin wall of muscles. It might be a little bit difficult to get into that area, but as you move towards the waist, you'll find it a lot easier. Just tuck the fingers in and loosen up the diaphragm. Now again, take the opposite hand, and I want you to work between the rib cage, those intercostal muscles. Move up towards the shoulder on the diagonal and move right under the, the breast and massage along and round that whole area. Really release that area. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Fingers between the rib cage and massage up towards the shoulder really releasing into that area move underneath the breast and massage especially if you're one of those people who wears the underwire bra and um, this can often restrict the fascia but also the blood flow so by massaging this area and releasing the pain the the restriction there, you can also increase the amount of movement into that area. Let's now bring our hands into the hip bones. So take the fingers and I want you again, if you can, work directly onto the skin. So tuck your fingers in your pants and just massage into the hip bone with the thumb or the or the index, middle and ring finger. So really get into that area and a nice release there. Here we're not only releasing the diaphragm, but the muscle that is responsible for a lot of lower back aches, the psoas muscle. We want to release that muscle here as well. Now release that. I want you to extend one leg. At the same time, I want you to rock the roller over to that side of the spine. So the same side as the leg is extended. 
we have a muscle running along the spine there, rectospinae muscle. So we want to bring this, the roller onto that erectospinae muscle that runs right along the side of the spine. Now we're going to massage with a fist, or you can use your ball, and you can apply a nice pressure right under the hip bone. So your iliopsoas muscle moves into your quadriceps there. And if you want to work again, use the hand if you want to, make a fist, and work right onto those adductors, so the inner thigh. Massage there. Again, if you can work directly onto the skin, that's much more effective. Massaging along the adductors and still coming back just under the hip bone, that hip flexor there. So lengthening out there. Okay, from there, we're going to breathe in. I want you to lift the lower back off the roller and you can extend your arm. Now you're going to breathe out and you're going to tuck the lower back into the roller. Bring the arm next to the body. You're breathing out. You're shortening the distance between the hips and the rib cage. And then you're breathing in again. As you breathe out, I want you to focus on pushing that lower back into the roller. Let's breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Take a nice deep breath in. And push into the roller and breathe out. Keep going. And breathe out. Another four. And breathe out. And three and breathe out so when you're tucking not only you're pushing that lower back into the roller but the glutes as well now I want you to progress to lift the knee up over the hip and we're going to breathe in arch into the lower back extend the leg and tuck now lengthen the leg out, try and bring it as close to you as possible, then you're putting more weight into that roller. Lengthen it out. As you breathe out, you bring the knee towards the chest, you pushing the lower back into the roller, and then breathing in, and lengthen it out, lifting the lower back off the roller. Breathe out. And breathe in. Good. Breathe out. Tuck. And already start lengthening. And a nice deep breath in. Open up. Good. Let's do another four. And a nice deep breath in. And three. So you can start that leg extension on the exhalation. Then breathe in and lengthen. Last one. Good. Let's hold it in that tucked position. So breathe out. And then just bounce the knee towards the chest. So you're just pushing into the roller a little bit more. Bring both elbows next to the body. And I want you to breathe in. Arch. Breathe out. Tuck. Good. Breathe in and open. And breathe out. Now I want you to bring the foot as close to the tailbone as possible. So you are pushing the knee up to the ceiling and not over the chest as we did before let's breathe in and breathe out now you're activating the glutes a little bit more and pushing the knee up to the ceiling and let's breathe in 
lower back again, pushing into the roller. Breathe out and tight. Good, nice deep breath in. And breathe out and tight. Push that lower back into the roller. Let's breathe in again. Hug the roller with the shoulder blades. So open up across the chest. Let's breathe out and tight. We've got another four, another three to go. And breathe out, squeeze the glutes, tuck and push that lower back into the roller. Two more, nice deep breath in. And breathe out. And the last one. And breathe out. Now before, just release the foot, just go in the tuck position. Before we go on to the other side, I want you to bring your spine onto the roller. You're going to bring the elbows in line with the shoulders. Open up the palms to face the ceiling. If you, if you can't get the elbows down onto the mat, bring the elbows down slightly. Try to get the back of the hands onto the floor next to the mat. And we're going to make snow, so you'll find you in a bit of a, a lifted position here, more than your, your neutral position, maybe slightly arched. Let's push into the roller and try to keep the um, lower back into the roller as you bring the elbows and the hands together, palms are facing you. Let's breathe in, open, 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 and breathe out and push into the roller with the lower back and tight. Let's breathe in and breathe out. Keep going. The more we breathe, the more we activate those deep core muscles. We've got another four to go. Hug the roller with the shoulder blades and breathe out. Now there are three more. And breathe out. Two to go. And breathe out. Let's finish the last one with the elbows and the back of the hands on the roller or on the mat or the floor next to the mat and as you breathe out keep the, ha the hands and the elbows into the mat or the floor and push the pelvis up breathe in now you're going to make snow angels with the bent elbows so you're sliding your elbows up and down the floor next to you so you should get a nice stretch across those pectoral muscles and keep going four more and lift and three and lift two more and lift and the last one bring the elbows and the hands back onto the mat roll down through the spine take a nice deep breath in as you tuck let's lower or, or roll over to the other side of the spine. So stay where you are. I'm just going to change sides. Extending that leg. So you're on the erector spinae muscle on this side of the spine now. Same leg is extended. And you are going to take your hand and make a fist. And if you can go right into your pants, bring the hand just below the hip flexor or onto the hip flexor just below the hip bone and you're going to massage along the front of that leg into the adductus so that inner thigh really release that area so this will help with more movement into the hips good keep going really focus on a nice stretch there. Let's release it. And we're going to start off with a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, 
push that lower back into the roller. Good. And again, a nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, activate the glutes, tuck under, push the lower back into the roller. Good. Let's breathe in again. And this time, as you breathe out, I want you to bend the knee. Bring the arm down, extend the arm and the leg. Now breathe in, lengthen it out, and breathe out, and breathe in. Keep going, push into the roller. Lengthen, 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 and a nice deep breath in. Again. And breathe out. Nice deep breath in. Good, breathe out. Four to go. And three. And two, last one, let's bend the knee, bring the elbow back to the mat and just bounce the knee towards the chest, good, now start bringing the knee over the hip and activating the glutes, breathing in and breathe out. As you tuck, push the knee to the ceiling, so keep the knee over the hip and breathe in and breathe out. Keep going, eight more and breathe out. Squeeze and extend and six, and breathe out. And five. And breathe out. Four to go. And breathe out. Three more. And breathe out. Two more, and breathe out. And this is the last one, a nice deep breath in. And breathe out. Hold your tuck, release the foot back onto the mat, and bring your spine back onto the roller. What we're gonna do now is bring the knees back over the hips. And you're going to focus on riding your bicycle. So we're going to slowly increase the heart rate. Keep pushing the lower back into the roller and stretching and lengthening into the hips. So we're going to slowly circle for eight and seven and six and five. Keep that lower back into the roller. So if you find it lifting off, then don't drop the leg down too much. Make the movement smaller. We're going to speed the movement up for eight and seven, six and five, four and three and two and one. Slow it down again for two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight. Let's speed it up for two, three, double time, four and five and six and seven and eight two more sets slow for two three and four and five and six and seven and eight again slow speed it up two three four five six seven and eight one more set slow for two and three and four 
and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Speed it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring both knees over the hips. Release one foot and the other foot. Let's lengthen everything out again. Just open up into the hips and have a nice big yawn. And stretch. Let's bring the feet back onto the mat. Have a nice breath in. Arch into the lower back. Breathe out. Bring the chin to the chest. If you need some assistance with the hands, use the hands. Otherwise, activate those glutes and pull yourself up into a lifted position. From there, we're going to release the roller. And what I want you to do is come into a knee box position. So we're going to take the hands behind us, so release the roller. Come into a position where you've got your feet straddling the mat. So feet on either side of the mat, hands behind you, fingers facing away from you if you can, just so you're opening up across the shoulders a little bit more easily. Squeezing the shoulder blades together at the back. Now we're going to just rock the knees from side to side, just loosening up in the hips. You'll find yourself wiggling forward on the mat. Just keep shifting the tailbone back. So just loosening up into the hips. Now we're going to come into a knee box position. So you want the knee in line with the hip and the knee in line with the hip. Good. Let's take the ball. We're going to bring it underneath the ankle. So you're going to bring it just above or behind that ankle bone. And now what I want you to do with your thumbs or the heel of your hand, which is ever is more effective, I want you to push down on the just behind and above that top ankle bone. And now you're going to sort of like sandwiching the ankle between the ball and the thumbs or the heel of the hand. And you're just going to release that ankle with a few circular motions and change direction. And you can flex and point. Apply a nice deep pressure with the thumb with the thumbs or the heel of the hand. Now you're going to continue working up that lateral line of the leg with the ball. You can hold onto the foot and push the knee down with your other hand and keeping that parallel to the floor. And let's massage along that side of the leg. So behind the shin bone. Move it up in increments if you need to, or just work along the length of that leg. Now bring the ball underneath the knee, and I just want you to move the ball around, just finding your trigger point. Once you've found it, just apply a nice pressure with both hands. Good. Let's take the ball and I want you to focus around your hip area again. So just below your hip bone, something called the TFL, which we're going to lie on in a, in a minute or two. I want you to just massage forward and back over that area. The glute medius is also here. So just massaging over the buttocks and right around the back. So releasing that whole area. And you can massage a little bit along that lateral side of the leg, along the ITG, up into that TFL, that tensor fascia lock. Massaging over the front of the hip and really release that area. Good. We're going to bring the ball back underneath the knee. I want you to hold onto your hip. You can push the hand into the knee and you're going to thrust 
So you're going to activate the glutes, squeeze the glutes, your butt, and push the hip forward. Use that hand to just assist. Pushing forward, but keep that shoulder nice and open. Good. Squeezing the glutes, really thinking about activating the glutes. Don't forget to push that front knee down. So you're not lifting that knee up, but you're focusing on that back leg. Four more, and three, two, and one. Good, let's come down onto the elbow. So you want your opposite elbow in front of your knee. And what we're going to do now, stay in that position and lift that leg. Keep the knee bent to start, and you're going to pulse that leg up and down. We've got eight to go, and seven, six, and five, four more, and three, and two. Hold it in the lifted position, extend the leg, and bend the leg. So now I want you to think of the length, lengthening out the hip flexor and that leg. Keep going, another eight, and seven, four, six, and five, four more, and three, and two. Hold it in that extended position, reach the same arm up. Imagine someone's pulling your arm and your leg in opposite directions and really lengthen it out. Good. You can keep the ball where it is and bring the foot into the hand. Push the knee out with the other hand and wiggle from side to side. Okay, so I want you still to focus on the same hip. We're going to rotate around, lengthen both legs out. You're going to bring the ball into the psoas. So right above the hip bone, sort of where your belly button is, you're coming down at an angle to the hip bone. You're going to keep the ball in the palm and you're going to bring the ball into the, so you're going to tuck it into the top, into the top of the hip bone. Not a very comfortable position. And remember that we our digestive system, so our colon, also runs along this area. So try and tuck it along there. And we're going to wiggle the hips from side to side. So you're just releasing that psoas muscle that sits deep within the core. Wiggle the hips from side to side. Keep the hand on the ball. And you can release the palm of the hand as well. Relax the forehead on the other hand. Let's reposition the ball just below the hip bone. So on the hip flexor. Here we are going to come up onto the elbows. Curl the toes under. And I want you to lengthen that hip flexor. So you're massaging up and down the front of the leg with the ball. Good. Release back onto your forehead. Bend your knee well. Squeeze the glutes. Lift the knee off the mat so the glutes are here to support the lower back because we want to really activate the butt. And you're going to just focus on your breathing here. So squeeze and lift the knee. And now you're just going to breathe into your diaphragm. And one more nice deep breath in. Hold it and breathe out. As you breathe out, release the knee onto the mat and rock the foot from side to side. So this we can refer to as a windscreen wiper. So the foot is rocking side to side. The ball is still releasing that hip flexor. And let's move in circular motions. Change direction. Up. 
I want you to now extend that leg. We are going to position the ball onto the TFL, so along the lateral side. You'll find your hip, hip bone, it will be down at an angle. We're going to rock onto that hip. So you might need to position the ball a few times, play around with position. Take your top leg and I want you to bring the foot onto the mat and bend the knee. Now you can rock back and forth or up and down along that TFL, also lengthening into it. Let's drop down onto the arm, stay in that extended position, and if you can, I want you to lift and lower the bottom leg. So stay in that position. Top knee is bent, foot is into the floor, and position yourself on the ball so that you can lift that bottom leg, activating the deep core line that we have released. Four more, and three, and two, and one. Good. Hold it in that extended position and just release the leg. Good. Let's come over to the other side. So from this position, we're just going to rock the knees again from side to side, just loosening up in the hips. Make sure you change legs and come over into a knee box position on the other side. Taking the ball and we're going to bring it underneath the ankle, so just above that ankle bone. And you're going to bring either the heel of the hand or the thumbs into the top of the ankle, sandwiching the ankle between the ball and the thumbs. And just circle the ankle or the foot just releasing in the ankle. Let's change direction. Now point and flex, pushing into the ball and really activating the release with the thumbs or the heel of the hand. Let's now position the ball a little bit higher up the ankle or the thigh or the leg and just massage. So the ball is positioned behind the shin bone and you roll in up and down that side of the leg. Good. Reposition the ball if you need to. Push the knee down and continue rolling up towards the knee. Let's reposition the ball up. And let's position the ball under the knee. Push into the knee with both hands, one hand if it's just a little bit tender. Apply a nice deep pressure. Position the ball. This is around about the start of that IT beam. So the iliotibial band inserts just below the knee. So you can play around with the position of the ball. Find the position that you need it the most and then push into the ball just to release that area. Good, let's take the ball now and bring it back onto the hip so that tensile fascia lata, the buttocks, the glutes, that area we want to release up and down, around and over that area there in the front of the hip, around and over the glutes, Really focus on a nice release there. Now position the ball back underneath the knee and you're going to come onto your elbows, 
keep that that knee bent and we're going to pulse the leg up and down keep going Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's extend and bend for two and three for four, five for six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it in that extended position. Bring the arm up next to your ear and feel like someone's pulling you in opposite directions. Really lengthen out here. Okay, let's bring that foot into the hand. Push the knee out. So you're opening up into the hip again and cradling that leg. Rock it from side to side. Let's bring the roller back into the picture, onto one side of the mat. And we are going to, before we do that, we just need to release that hip. So let's take the ball back again. So you're in your knee box position, cradling your leg. That lifted leg is the one we're going to position the ball under. So you're going to bring both legs into an extended position. Start off with the ball into the, into the area to release the psoas. So inside that hip. Lower down, keep the ball on the hand, bring the forehead onto the other hand and wiggle the hips from side to side. Now we can position the ball under the hip flexor, just below the hip bone. Come onto the elbows, curl the toes under, and just massage the ball up and down the front of that hip. Now we're going to release back onto the forehead, onto the hands, back onto the mat. Bending the knee, you're going to activate the glutes and lift the knee off the mat. Now focus on your breathing, relaxing your upper body, keeping the glutes nice and activated. Now breathe into your diaphragm. Focus on breathing through the nose. Keep going, let's do another three. And two. And last one. Release the knee and moving into that windscreen wiper. Activation there. Releasing the glutes. Now you can circle the foot. Relax the foot, let it just flop around. Let's change direction. Good, from there we're moving on to the side of the hip. So that TFL and you're going to just need to position the ball. Come onto the elbow, you can bend the top leg so long, uh, or you can keep it straight, and then just wiggle from side to side. Finding your trigger point if you need the release, you should have a bit of a tender spot. If you can, keep the ball on that area. If it's very sore, just release the ball. Bring the top foot in front, and now you should position the ball in a spot and then activate the inner thigh. Let's lift up 
and pulse the neck up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Release the ball. Now we can bring the rotor back into the picture and we're going to release those inner thighs. So still focusing a lot into the hip releases and the deep core line, those inner thighs. So coming into a plank position, or you can lower down onto the abs. You've got those two options. Then bring the knee onto the roller in line with the hip. And I want you to roll the roller up to the hip again. Keep the knee in line with the hip. They often want to move down. Keep positioning it in line with the hip. Move it right out. If you lie on the front of the leg, then you can just slide the leg across and massage along the inner thigh. Let's find your trigger point. Stay in plank if you can. Release your foot and just lift and lower that foot. Keep going. Another four and three and two. And one good from there let's release it and go over to the other side same thing knee onto the roller relaxing the body onto the mat or you can come up into your plank position on the other leg keep the knee in line with the hip and roll along that inner thigh Keep going. Nice and slowly. Find that spot that you need to release. Release the foot. Stay in plank or drop onto the supporting leg. And let's rotate. So you're opening up into the hip. Another four, and three, and two, and one. Good. Come back to center. Bring the roller between the knees. Here we're going to bring the hands onto the front of the roller. So you want to be in quite a rounded position, so don't have the roller too far ahead. Bring it right back, and you're going to focus on your breathing. Hands in the front of the roller. You're going to breathe in an arch. You're going to squeeze the roller between the knees and the feet and use your hands to push the roller back and breathe out and round your spine. Let's breathe in an arch. Open up across the chest, shoulder blades pulling together. So don't let the shoulders come up. Think of the movement back. The rhomboids, those muscles on either side of the spine, retracting the shoulder blades. And you're going to breathe out, tuck from the tailbone, push into the roller with the hands, squeeze the roller with the feet and the knees. Breathe in, open up. Good, open, open, open. And breathe out, tuck and squeeze. Keep going. Breathe in and open. And push down on the roller and squeeze the roller with the feet and the knees. Good. Four more. And breathe out, push down and tuck. Another three. And push down and tuck. Two more. Activate those deep core line muscles by squeezing and tucking under. Breathe out. This is the last one. And push against the roller and breathe out. Stay in that rounded position. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders onto either side of the roller. Lift your knees and I want you to bounce the knees in that rounded position. Keep squeezing the roller. Good. Drop down onto the knees. Take a nice deep breath in. Open, open, open. Now as you breathe out, again you're lifting the roller and tucking. And I want you to swing the knees from side to side. 
Notice my feet. I'm staying on the front of my feet. If your neck is taking any tension, you will cramp in the feet. So curl the toes under if you need to, but try and come back into this position if you can. Let's do it again. Breathe in and breathe out. Lift and swing the knees from side to side. And when you need to breathe in, drop down. Let's do another two. Open, open, open. And breathe out. In this one, let's just bounce the knees up and down. Keep breathing out. As soon as you need to breathe in, drop to the knees. Take a nice deep breath and open up. Let's take the last one into that rounded position. Lift the knees and swing the knees from side to side. And release. Breathe and open up. Let's curl the toes under. Push back into down dog. And I want you to come forward into a plank position. Make sure you're squeezing the bum so you can open up and you can squeeze under shoulders over wrists. Let's bring the roller forward so it's directly under the sternum and I want you to lower down onto the roller. Release and uncurl the toes. Bring your forehead onto your hands and try if you can get comfortable on the roller. The roller is underneath the sternum so it's just below the clavicle underneath the chin and you can squeeze onto the roller with the knees but most of all what i want you to focus on doing is pushing the belly button into the roller so you're breathing into your diaphragm and the belly button is going to push the, well the diaphragm is going to push the belly button down into the roller let's focus on relaxing and breathing Take a nice deep breath in for four counts. Hold your breath for two and breathe out for four. So nice deep breath in. One, two, three, four. Hold it for two and breathe out through the nose for one, two, three, four. Let's do it again. Take a nice deep breath in. Hold it. And let's breathe out. You want to feel that breath pushing around into the lower back. So breathing into that diaphragm and the diaphragm is pushing into the lower back. Take a nice deep breath in. And breathe out. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Let's push back and up. And just have a nice stretch. Walk the arms forward and pull the tailbone back. And come onto hands and knees. Let's do the last one. If you do not have a resistance band, you can create your own resistance or use one of those um, extended resistance bands. Just tie a knot into it. Let's lower it down to the mat. Bring your hands behind your head. We're going to take a nice deep breath in. You're going to arch, so you're lifting that lower back off the mat, and then you're breathing out, pushing the lower back into the mat. Now we're going to activate those abdominal muscles. At the same time, you're squeezing the glutes. You're in a round position. You lift the knees up. Lower back is pushing into the mat. Extend one leg. Bend the other knee. Keep the foot in towards you. This leg stays straight. We're going to bounce for four and three, two and one. Good. Lift up and lengthen. Change sides. Staying nice and lifted, focusing on your breathing. For four and three and two and one. Push up, lift. Lower the upper body down, take a nice deep breath in, so relax into the mat. Let's change legs. As you breathe out, lift up into that chest lift and you're going to bounce for two and three and four. 
Lift the legs up, lower the upper body down. Take a nice deep breath in and breathe out. As you breathe out, bend the knee, come into that chest lift. And for four, and three, and two, and one. Good. Lift up and lengthen, lower down. Let's do another four. Nice deep breath in here. As you breathe out, into that chest lift, bend the other knee and bounce. For two, and three, and four, good, lift up and lengthen, lower down, nice deep breath in, let's breathe out and lift up, bend the other knee, bounce, and two, keep that knee straight, three, and four, good, lift up and lengthen, breathe in and lower down, I've got another two to go, breathe out and lift, bend the knee and bounce, and two, and three, and four, you should feel those abs activating. Let's do one more, last deep breath in. And as you breathe out, into that chest lift and bend. One, and two, and three, and four. Good, lovely. Bring both knees into the chest and just release your band. Let's hug the knees, hold onto the shin and bounce the knees in towards the chest. You can rock the tailbone up and down and now just move from side to side. Lengthen one leg out, lengthen the other leg out. Have a nice big yawn and stretch. Hug yourself, open up your feet and just rock yourself from side to side. Cross one ankle over the other and just wiggle yourself from side to side. Try to take the upper body in the opposite direction to the direction the legs are going. So this hip is lifted, the opposite shoulder is lifted and wiggle back and forth. And let's change legs, change arms, bring the other arm on top and do the same thing. So the top leg, I want you to lift that hip up Take the opposite shoulder off the mat. So if you're pushing the other shoulder into the mat and then just start that movement from side to side. A nice spiral and stretch. Four more. Three, two, and one. Good. Lengthen out again. Have a nice big yaw, releasing any tension in the jaw. Roll yourself up. Extend your hands to your knees and Lift up, open up, come into a cross-legged position. Just circle the shoulders up and back and take a nice deep breath in and breathe out. Well done and thank you for joining me.